role playing game. And uh, uh, right before uh, COVID lockdown, we were about to hit our my in person group was about to hit our one year mark of weekly games. Oh, nice. And, uh, uh, we we ended on cliffhanger, so we're steadily we're anxiously waiting. When we're going to start that back up. <laughs> so, nice. What about you? Oh, I'm trying to get people to. Uh, we play like way too much. <laughs> my group. So, because we were doing the roll twenty like for like at least for maybe seven or eight years, mm-hmm. and then we. Uh, but before that, we were always live. So we oh, do right. like twice a week. But we don't play Warhammer. I try to. I'm trying to get them to play more Warhammer, but <laughs> we played like a few in person Warhammer. We we did the starter set. We did mm-hmm. like uh, Mad Men of Gotham. <laughs> but I've done that one. We too. haven't. Yeah, that was kind of fun, but the uh, we haven't. Uh, I haven't got them to, to play any kind of a uh, long term Warhammer. Kind of hoping to do that, but at some point. Mm-hmm. It can be quite fun. Oh, I was we just in a um, like tons of Cthulhu <laughs> right now. Uh, one of the earlier campaigns I was in was a friend decided to center a whole year long campaign around uh, Mordheim. Oh yeah, which was um, nice. quite grim and perilous. <laughs> yeah, as these things go. Oh, I remember it well. Brand new RPGs. They had never played anything, so it was a <laughs> learning experience for them. And now they find D and D to be weird. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my guys have played kind of say so many RPGs, so but we still play a lot of D and D. That's basically the I don't know the go to still. Yeah. yeah, it's a solid go to. It's very, yeah. it's very good well, at what it does. We played so much D and D though that it's like, mm. like we played uh, Storm uh, King's Thunder up to we up to like level twenty, oh, wow. with like epic boons and stuff. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, epic level. And stuff then uh, gets we, weird. we played Curse of Strahd. We played uh, <laughs> like we finished a lot of the campaigns. Right. Uh... So that's why I'm trying to get them to, you know. Get into other games, but yeah, <laughs> I'm excited to try out Soulbound tomorrow because I love reading the rule book. And uh, one of my in person D&D groups I DM for is for a friend and her husband and her kids. And her kids oh, have okay, like cool. learning disabilities, and so while yeah. they got D&D, they still struggled with it, even though I tried to make it more simple. Um, yeah, and so they were disappointed, especially since they were playing magic users. Uh, but reading oh, okay, through Soulbound, yeah. I'm like, you know what, I think. I'll try this out. I think we might switch over to this because I think they'll do better with this system. So I'm excited to give that a go tomorrow. I haven't picked yeah, up Soulbound, Soulbound yet I myself. The premise is very interesting, at least. Um, that's literally all I know about it at the moment, though. <laughs> I'll be picking it up sometime yeah. next week, I think. So I'm pretty old school, too, so I play like I mean, just Sigmar is like happened like after I stopped playing basically the first time so mm. <laughs> I was like I don't know much about Age of Sigmar uh okay let's see it looks like nobody's showing up for the third so we'll just get started I suppose cool. nice. uh, bum, 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 bum. now you'd all decided on your characters beforehand I think so let me see yeah <laughs> Ah, there it is. Yes. Uh, Thomas L. wanted Grody. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I should have (laughs) made it editable by... There you go, I think. You should be in your... Uh, Where was the other one? Uh, Grim was looking for Meridrinda. Excuse me. Uh, And you have editing rights. And I think Erica was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. For Craig. Uh, All players can see, but only you can touch. There we go. 
I think that's all the uh <laughs> change that to all players and Erica is also all, yeah yeah okay I think that's everyone has their character sheets now are there any questions about those character sheets before we begin no nope. not for me I think, um, I think I should be good though very good um the little characteristic bubbles on the main tab, you can click those to make a straight uh, roll related to that. Okay, cool. Uh, the skills and talent sections, again, they have little roll icons there that'll take care of most of the mathematics for you. Nice. Uh, your weapons will be halfway down the gear and magic tab. They also have roll buttons. And there's a little more backstory and information for your characters on the information tab. Uh, the little golden skulls beside things, you can click on those and they will uh, open up any relevant information I've put in. Uh, okay. It'll be particularly useful for your talents. And I think that's it. So okay. for one reason or another, you're all traveling to Altdorf, uh, the capital of Reichland in the southern uh, portion of the empire. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh dear. <coughs> oh, that went down the wrong way. <clears throat> oh. But it jarred my laptop and showed me that I hadn't actually switched over to the live scene for the stream. So before we get any further... Yes, there it is. Great. You've fallen nice. into traveling together for safety because there's a lot of forest around the Empire and the forest is full of dark and terrible things. Ah. You left a um, perfectly serviceable halfling cook behind. And I haven't had time to remove um, Gladys, his mule, from the map, so you'll just have to pretend, bleh, pretend he's not there. Uh, I think if I get my webcam up and running, it will make things a little bit easier for facial expressions and whatnot. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Would, would you like us to hook up webcams as well? Uh, it's not necessary. Um, only if you want to. Okay. Is that working? Yes. At least it should be. Oh, of course. Yes. It's the wrong side. Just flip the phone around. There we go. Yeah, close enough. Uh, my own actual webcam is screwed at the moment, so I'm making do with my phone. Anyway, it is, as these things always start off, a dark and stormy night. You've been traveling for okay. quite some time. Uh, you're all down here. Let me just get rid of Theo. He plays no further part in these. The storm is howling. The rain is coming down in torrents. It's a very dark and forbidding section of wood. You're still many, many miles away from Altdorf, and civilization signs are few and far between. Uh, let's see, the elf and the dwarf will have night vision, that's why you have a, a red tint to your field of view. And Erica has a lantern, which gives about 20, 20 yards worth of light. And suddenly, the noise is broken by a sort of strangled braying sound coming from the woods off to your left and behind you. 
Uh, does anyone have animal care in their skills? I do not. Don't. I am looking at oh, Erica. Do. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely the advanced okay, skills. Yeah, it's, it's a group skill at the bottom, yeah. yeah. You can uh, yeah. try a roll at that to see if you recognize okay. the sound. Uh, no, unmodified? Uh, on, no straight modification. Straight up or is it plus 20? Straight up, straight up. Okay. Oh, nice. That is definitely an elk in some distress. Sounds like it's being hunted or injured. Like how far behind do I think? Oh, yep. There's a thing. Oh, crap. Uh, let me turn off my voice in uh, Roll20. Uh, let me see here. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Okay, cool. all good for me. Nice. Um, sorry, I missed that last thing. What was the uh, the the sounds of an elk distress. in pain, distress, yeah. quite possibly injured. I'll point that out. Point that out to everyone. Uh, and it sounds <laughs> how close did I, did you say? Uh, rather closer than you were expecting. Any life uh, at this hour of the night, it's getting close to midnight. You should think. Okay, maybe two hundred yards. Deep into the wood. Driving. Oh, right. Um, yeah, I didn't have time to remove the cart. <laughs> Never mind <Okay>. that. <laughs> the cart, right? No cart. Okay. <laughs> that was the halfling. So he's he's not here for right, right, for right. reasons. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's. That doesn't sound good. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, before you can take any further um, actions, the elk flashes out across the road in front of you trailing blood and uh, three javelins soon follow straight after it unfortunately they all hit their mark and the ed the elk comes sliding to a bloody stop around about there on the side of the road it's I want it's to be hunting in this type of weather not, no no uh, yeah. Everyone can make a perception roll if they like. Yeah, I want to pull out my Excuse circle me. and. Uh... I'll give you plus twenty for the lantern and the dark vision. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out my bow and come out, bro. Uh, How do you add a plus twenty nice. to the roll? Uh, if you go for the roll, it should uh, pop up a little modification window. Just type 20 in there. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah. It's Sorry. unusual Pretty for well. the elf not to notice, but the rest of you. Um, <laughs> off to the side over here, you can see the glinting of red eyes in the shadows. Ooh. Is it like one pair of eyes, or is it... Uh, it's several pairs of eyes. Ooh. Uh, Probably belonging. Making... Hmm? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go, go for it. Go I for mean, it. it's it's not a single being with lots and lots of eyeballs. It's right. <laughs> the eyes are in the right place for several people. Yeah. All or right. Okay. Human-sized things. Okay. Now, Does it um, appear to be going and eating the 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 elk, or is it is it kind of a uh, Looking at us. <laughs> it seems to be looking at you. It, I have night vision, so mm -hmm. am I able to see shapes more clearly? Uh, uh, yeah, you can... I, You know what? I'll give you a, another perception roll for having the night vision. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, with with the uh, same modifier? The same modifier, yeah. Okay. Um... At this point, uh, I should probably make note of the fate and fortune points you all have on your character sheet. Uh, you can spend a fortune point from your pool to re-roll any dice roll you don't like. Uh, you can only do it once. I've got four fate and two resilience. Uh, resilience is 
uh, quite another thing. Uh, you can use that to yeah. resist mutation or um, shake off conditions like bleeding or fear or things like that. Right. So uh, I got four points. Fortune. And deny uh, the corrupting mutation of chaos. If that sort of thing should happen. I'm not saying it will. <laughs> Uh, there is one exception to re-rolling dice. Um, if you don't get the result you want after spending a fortune point and making that re-roll, now you don't have to. It's entirely your choice. But I can offer you a dark deal where you get to re-roll that dice one more time, but you take a point of corruption. Okay. And I can sometimes spend points of corruption on your behalf to make certain unfortunate things happen. Like your nemesis uh, that you have on his knees, almost ready to die, manages to escape, or things like that. <laughs> Again, completely your choice. <laughs> but there's nothing stopping me from reminding you. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> but, um, anyway... Sorry, we'll we'll get back to the the actual adventure. So yes, you passed your test. Uh, yeah, you recognize that kind of eyeball. That those those are beast men eyeballs. Ooh, I'm there gonna are, get out. There are beast men afoot tonight. Or uh, a I'm hoof. Get my uh, pickaxe ready and say to the others, uh, "We have some unpleasant company this evening." Oh, I can see their eyes. Uh, it's uh, beast men. Oh, wonderful! Mm -hmm. They don't seem to be attacking. Hope and have a pleasant trip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, sorry, I think Sagan? we should. Uh... Strange, they don't seem to be attacking us. Just men, now, by the looks, they outnumber us. They probably would attack us as soon as we saw them. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to boost your voice slightly on the Discord because it's not coming through super clear for me there. It is unusual, yes. Well, I can only see a few BDIs. <laughs> I don't know. But, just my human um, vision. Yes. Sorry, go for it. So, <laughs> you're all a couple more steps along the way and the uh, BDI just disappear. Uh, you can grab your token and use arrow keys to move it square by square or just click and drag it by the way. Okay. Okay. Um, Maybe we should pick up the pace a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, all of a sudden... You hear the blast of a horn rather more close by than is comfortable. <laughs> as a gigantic beast man with horns and scaly skin steps out of the brush behind you. Here we go. Two of them, in fact. One duck legs he runs over to the cart, while the other one roars at you and makes to charge. So, this is going to be combat. And the way combat works here is I'll need you to select your own token, then go into your character sheet, and on the main tab, um, uh, down near the bottom, there's a roll initiative thing. And that will add your roll into the turn order for me here. Excellent. Uh, highest goes first. Okay, roll we're acting first because we got um, the bow out, basically. Get up the beast man here. Yeah, he wasn't even trying to surprise you here, so... Okay. Oh, oh God, I'm just realizing something. And 14, okay, I'm gonna just and there's another one. Oh, sister, this Beast man. Hey Grim, oh, uh, I turned work. your volume up all the way on uh, 
Discord, but you're still very quiet. Hmm. Um, just have so to can... roll a d100 for him. Shoot. 16 and Beastman 2. Actually got fourteen when I rolled the first time, so I'll do that again. Descending order, better. His action was to step out and roar at you. Nice. So I wanted to shoot. At, Absolutely. Uh, number at uh, this guy. Very good. Yeah. So that was a uh, one so success level. You see, on the left leg. Oh, the chat isn't updating. I have to keep scrolling down. Sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, so the way damage works in fourth ed now is um, your weapon will deal straight damage plus your strength bonus. I've included all that uh, as is right now, okay, and then you add the number of success levels you get to hit. So, so you damage. will do six damage to the left yeah, leg. The left leg. He's got an armor yeah. of two and a toughness of three, which will absorb uh -oh. <laughs> five of that. One damage. So he takes one wound, and you gain point of advantage nice. for a successful hit. Now, advantage is basically a plus ten to hit, and it's only there as long as you're winning. If you miss, or someone beats you in uh, melee, then you lose your advantage. So it's a very, very powerful uh, way to represent uh, momentum and how the fight is going. So your next attack will get plus 10 to hit, just by nice. virtue of the fact your last attack hit. Uh, yeah, that is nice. Erica. It is the second beast man. He uses his long legs that look very much like a large dog's to charge straight at Erica. Why not? Ah. <laughs> now, charging automatically gives you one advantage. Yeah. And he has a large sword which is written down here as horns because I'm using the same character sheet for two different beastmen, but same damage, same qualities. Okay. Um, melee combat is so, an opposed role, so even if he passes, um, if you pass by more, you defend yourself. Okay, uh, opposed, but with my bow, if my bow is out, um, do I disadvantage some kind of a penalty? Um, wait a minute. Which one is... Merdrinda is Craig? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, he wasn't charging you, so you're not at a disadvantage. Oh, you said Erica. He charged Erica, I thought you said. But... Uh, charged Erica. I think. Yeah, Erica is me. My mistake. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Uh, you don't lose your disadvantage, but, okay. um, how does it go again? Um, They... You could also dodge as a way to defend, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. You yeah. can use yeah. melee or dodge or parry if you have it. Uh, let me just have it. Okay, I think I'll probably the... dodge because I don't think. Uh... Yeah. Combat. Um, so uh... I get my advantage on the dodge? Yes, plus 10. Okay. Uh, oh. I haven't rolled the attack roll yet. Also, maybe hits, right? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I use it's my dodge. Attack roll. A... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. 10. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. In auspicious beginning. Hits you on the head. For... <laughs> okay, guys. Well, well, the good thing is that your head is protected by an extremely flamboyant hat, which gives you one armor That's point. That's true. And Thanks. what's your toughness bonus? Probably three for a human. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Three, yeah. Good. So your toughness bonus will absorb protection. three. So you take four. So you take six. Wounds to the head. Ouch. 
That hurt. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. You <laughs> lose your advantage, and the beast man gains one advantage. He's plus 20 to hit people. That's nasty. Ouch. Kind of difficulty to weapon fighting, <laughs> mounted, ranged, moving, disengaging. Oh, where is it? It's right here. One second. What are you looking for? Very. The, um, using a ranged weapon in close combat. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can use it. I think only pistols can be used in melee. Yeah. Correctly. Uh, no, I just dodged yes, anyway, right? I so believe that's I didn't, I didn't fight back. I just dodged. I'll just go with that. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Not to worry, though. Um, it's the dwarf's turn now. All right. I'm going to yell and raise my pickaxe and come right here. The pickaxe of your brother. Yep. <laughs> uh, charge yeah, automatically gonna... gives you plus one advantage, so that's plus okay. ten to hit. And then uh, I should get also plus forty since we outnumber him three to one. Right? <laughs> I <Nice>. believe so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not a, an extremely pleasant way to, uh, to fight, but it's effective. Uh, It's uh, um, on page uh, 161. Yeah, you're quite right. That's exactly it. And at the end of every round, outnumbered opponents lose advantage. Perfect. Okay. Alright. Uh, my axe. That's a success. Nice hit. And it's yeah. a critical because it's an impaling yeah. weapon. Yep. So, uh, let me see. That's ouchies. Right. <laughs> let me get up the critical hit tables. Yep. Uh, oh, almost there. Uh, where did you hit him? On the head. Even I, better. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> right. Uh, if Roll you could doing headshots today. <laughs> Roll a D100 there, and uh, let's see what happens. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Oh, the thing's ear takes a sickening impact. Uh, it is now deafened. <laughs> and is, at, I think that's minus 10 in combat. So, yeah, the... Never rolled for this man. He might yet uh, dodge that. Yeah, he might die. That's the main damage. <laughs> do, 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 do. Main, where is his... Probably not, because he doesn't have dodge. <laughs> but he does have straight agility. Oof. Uh oh. But success level zero. You passed by more, so you still hit. Yeah. It's the difference between success levels. So, yeah, you still deal 11 damage. Uh, the ear bash causes another wound, so he takes... 12 in total. Nice. Or, yeah. Yeah, 12. Okay. Minus his toughness, which is 3, so he takes 9 in total. Ooh. And he is now deaf. <laughs> which. I'll just stand behind you. <laughs> I don't um, mind you. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> At the dwarf, I am the toughest yeah. here. These tokens are yeah. really... <laughs> None of these tokens look like deaf. So I'm just going to use the little ninja. It's probably close enough. And he's at minus uh, 10. Our token in mm -hmm. that blue circle, can we put our advantage there? Uh, advantage there? Yeah, I've been updating the little red one for now, but you can change that to oh, okay. blue or whatever oh, yeah, you like. I've been putting it in the blue. Yep, cool, cool. Well, I lost mine. So. As long as you all know where you're, where it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's nasty. Well done. And nice. Meridrinda. I would like to back up one and shoot. Perfect. Uh, you're not strictly speaking engaged because it didn't charge you, so that's not a problem. 
Okay, if I'm not engaged, would I be able to just fire from where I'm stood? You certainly could. Uh, oh, just for the purposes of um, not being too complicated, diagonal movement will be like one as well as the normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I cannot be arsed doing that kind of calculation. Mm -hmm. uh, he's used up all his actions, so yeah, go ahead. Let's see how this goes. How large is he? He is human sized. No modifiers. Would I get the. Wait, I get the plus 40 from being point blank. You do, yes. <laughs> Just don't roll a critical failure, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, another crit! Fantastic. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, da -ba -da -ba -dum. Yeah, um, bows are. They got a serious buff in this with. Well, arrows really are what caused the impaling. Uh, the bow itself is precise. So. You get six success levels, plus eight is 14. And because it's an accurate weapon, you get another success level just because you succeeded. So. 15 wounds, and a critical hit to the right arm. <laughs> I really should leave the critical Ooh. tables <laughs> open. What page is the critical table? It, it starts on page 174. Now, you hit him in the arm, so that's 175, and you've got 74. That is a crushed elbow. <laughs> The blow crushes the elbow, splintering bone and cartilage. He immediately drops his sword and nice. takes another four wounds on top of what you dealt. Uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, he's absolute. Yeah, you you rip the bone off, at, or you rip his arm off at the elbow with that shot and just completely crush him. He dies in a gout of arterial blood spray. Doesn't even have time to scream. The shock is so sudden. Fantastic. Uh, right. It's other man's time to charge. And he's going to bonus decline because it's not simple. Also, I just sort of severed Yes. Now that gives him one advantage automatically for charging. And then he rolls his big sword. How many advantages do I have? Uh, you get plus one for every successful concurrent hit. Or consecutive, sorry. So okay. you should have one for that one. And you I should don't also think... have one up in the damage as well. Uh, yes. Where did the Beastman character sheet go? There it is. Right, he swings his rusty sword at the elf. It's ten for advantage. Nice. And fails. Oh well. <laughs> right, we're back to Erica. Um, yeah, I guess still got my board, so I can um move uh maybe to um here. So I there's a penalty for being engaged, right? For them being engaged. Um, I'm gonna like gloss opinions. over it because it's there more complicated than it needs to be. When okay. Modifier for having a friend engaged in it, it depends really on how much you care about hitting um, <laughs> yeah. a friendly <laughs> well I kind of do yeah so especially they're, they're doing all the they're doing all the damage I'm doing like nothing so <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to keep my companions fair enough uh, so okay so uh, I guess I'm minus uh, but I'm short range though right so is, is it a uh... definitely short range uh, will is it zero or is it is... Minus 20? What's your advantage at the moment? I'm at zero because I got All hit. Alright. 
uh, b b b we'll say no penalties, but no modifiers okay. either. Okay. He's not even interested ah, in no dodging. Way. I missed. Oh, well. Yeah, I missed. Oh, shoot, I accidentally closed the turn order. There it is. Uh, Beastman 2. Oh, wait, no, Beastman 2 is dead. Yeah, Beastman 2 is dead. Get rid of him. So, it's Grody's turn. Alright, come over here. And I'm going to swing that, my grandfather's pickaxe. And so mm -hmm. I have three advantage plus 20, since we outnumber him two to one. Indeed. It's, uh,. Not looking good for the beast man. <laughs> Ow, balls! Hang on. I accidentally did something. Ugh. I really need to rebind the button on my mouse. It accidentally went back a page. One second. <laughs> <I've>, uh... <laughs> right. Where were we? So uh, four success levels plus. You eight. hit and he did 12 damage. Plus damaging. Yeah. Well, so the damage uh, I can use the, uh, am I looking at the right roll here? You rolled 84? Yep. Yeah, good, good. Alright, so that's 8 and... Uh, yeah. That's yeah, I can use 4 instead of the 2 there. Yeah, it's 4. 10 damage. He, he has a fair amount of wounds. Uh, what's his toughness? Uh, and he's the one with the armor as well, so... Um, he's got five armor in total with his toughness bonus. He did ten damage, so he's minus five wounds. Very good. Uh, his advantage goes down to zero, and you gain one. You're on a nice. roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's back to the elf. I would like to back up one and shoot. Absolutely. So, am I still within point blank? I'm going to say yeah, why not? And I get plus 10 for each advantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the adventure specifically said oh, that nice. this beast man yeah. is not dodging. Okay. Another crit. Fantastic. Ten success. Oh, Jesus. Um, it's like 18 damage to the right arm again. <laughs> he won't be using that again. Let me get those crits. One, seven, four, five. There it is. Seventy-one. Uh, Same again, basically. Yep. Another crushed elbow. Yeah, the elf clearly has a thing for elbows. <laughs> uh, eighteen plus another one for, or is it three? I forget. One, four, nine. And now I'm up to four advantage. Crushed elbow. Another four wounds on top of that. So, 22 wounds. Jeez. Toughness <laughs> takes away five of that. 22 wounds. Yeah. Good lord. That is one beast man you won't have to worry about again. Uh, turn around, look at the elf, and go. I got him in position for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Unfortunately, that was a handy distraction for the four mutants <laughs> that were creeping up <laughs> to hem you in. Come on, guys. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to roll once for these guys because I could not be arsed doing four separate initiative trackers for them. Nice. Right, uh, let's make sure that's in descending order again. And yeah, you get to, to go all over again. Erica. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take up my position behind the behind uh, Grody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, 
fire at one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh well. It misses. Yeah, that's miss. Alright. Um, I guess I will charge that one that's directly in front of me. Fantastic. Yeah, you can charge up to your run in movement. Still thing of steam, even for a dwarf, yeah. like 16 or 12 squares. So, yeah, so immediately gain one advantage. <laughs> Alright, so there will be plus 50. <laughs> it's a good thing I have this advantage because I've been rolling pretty <laughs> high. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Plus four, right. sweet. And how do well, you I can use the nine more? instead of the four for the success level. Oh, wow. 69. Nice. Nine. Oh, that's a fubbling failure. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> and a fumbling. <laughs> oh, so, rather than get into the nitty gritty of uh, fumbles at this stage, I'm just going to say you can add his six levels of failure onto your levels of success for a super powerful. Okay. Uh, blow. So, 10 success plus 8 is 18 wounds. Right leg. Yeah, he doesn't have any armor. Yeah. That fell gone. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I feel like Achilles and Troy. <laughs> this lad's an engineer. He's not a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God, where's the turn tracker gone? Yes. Uh, Meridrinda. I am going to do what I am good at, and I am going to probably take another elbow. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to try. What's the bonus for short range? Uh, that is pretty close to the correct Plus 20. Mm, excuse me. Plus 20 for short range? Yep. I believe he's right, yes. Okay. I got the PDF <laughs> pulled up because I can never remember everything. Yeah, I mean, there are tons of modifiers. <laughs> that is 11 damage to the body. Nice. Uh, oh. oh, yes, he is going to try and dodge. He's probably going to fail because I haven't filled out this character sheet properly. Mm <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Oh wait, I did. Uh, he doesn't have dodge, but he does have agility 30, so let's give that a go. No. Uh, yes, 11 to the body. And wait, it's an accurate weapon, so you get an extra success level. So 12 to the body. His toughness bonus is 3, so he takes 9 wounds. Um, you point out which mutant it was? I'll go with this one. The one on the left. Minus nine. Very good. That sticks in him. That's gonna leave a mark. Uh, what the hell just happened? Oh, right, yes. I thought we did, Erica. Yeah, it should be them, I think, right? Did they? Yeah, it should be them. Yeah, something weird happened to the mutants there. Well, the mutants decided that um, something to this uh, had no uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> and they charged the dwarf, who still has a ridiculous amount of advantage. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, the injured one will try and hit you first. Um, uh, mutant. Uh, roll for the rusty sword. No advantage. There we go. A fumbling failure. Oh, fumbling failure. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, you forgot the, um, uh, to add the plus 40 for app number. I did. 
No, oh, so it's not a failure. It's a crit then. Is it's it? a crit. <laughs> it is a crit. <laughs> is that, like, oh, yeah. that, that means I lose all my advantage because crit gets resolved before uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. everything Ooh. else. <laughs> oh dear. Mm -hmm. Could this be a total party kill before you leave the first map? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, D100. Where did you get hit? The right arm. Oh, no. 75. <laughs> Oh jeez, everyone's oh, man. Have to figure out if there's something yeah. to do this elbow thing. Uh, you weren't totally attached to that elbow, were you? Because you're definitely no, no, not no. attached to it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that will be a crushed elbow. Um, that's a nasty major broken bone. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't do much in the way of damage, at least. Uh, that'll be... Yeah, he would still only just really have passed by six, seven, eight. You've got a pretty high toughness bonus, if I remember correctly. Yeah, uh, I have a toughness of four. Four. Excellent. Yeah. So, let's get back to that and have a look. Uh, I would have been plus four, so three. You take five and another four from the crit itself, so nine wounds. That's not bad for a crit. Really. <laughs> no. Does that have any lingering effect? Um, the crushed elbow? You immediately drop whatever was held in that hand. Ooh. Let's just assume your pick was held in the other hand. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> otherwise this is going to be a very short game. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Sword bites into your elbow, guys? crushes the elbow. But, yep, there are two other guys. So, does anyone want to have the healing skill? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, we need to, uh, hopefully we need to worry uh, about that. Dearly. Hopefully the elbows are as good at healing elbows as they are shattering them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he fails. I don't have heal. And the last mutant... Oh, does hit. Uh, I'll defend with my pick. Yeah. <laughs> five wounds unless you can defend, yes. Excellent. Nice. Clang, clang. You do lose your advantage. Uh, this particular mutant gains one advantage because he did actually do some damage. And that's them done. We're back to Erica. Okay, well hopefully I can actually help out this time. <laughs> Outnumbering is bad, uh, folks. <laughs> yeah, show them what humans can do. Uh, so I'm uh, so it's even modifier again because it's minus twenty plus twenty, I think, right? Uh, so, yeah. And I have no advantage. Hey, I actually hit. Uh, I'll not doing much damage. Hmm. Just six damage. Uh, five, six. Yep. That's oh, weird. I. If I got to reload one, is that so? That's can I instead of moving? Can I reload? Is or how does that? Uh, yeah, I'll say the, instead of moving, you can reload. It's. I generally do away with the nitty gritty bits. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll say it was the one so that I, was wounded, so he downed. Yeah, left arm, six damage. Yep. He <laughs> already had one here. sticking in his chest. That one joins him. Nice. Massive blood trauma. He's gone. Ah, the dwarf can breathe a little easier. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of the dwarf. Yes. I, um, the one with advantage. Or was that the, was the one that he just That killed? was the one with advantage. All right, then I guess I'll hit the one that's directly in front of me. Very good. Uh, his advantage is rather less now. Hmm. Don't forget, there are fortune points. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're right after me. So you know what? I'm gonna a go little ahead. bit of corruption go. probably won't do any harm if <laughs> the fortune <laughs> point is right? Mm -hmm. I might go ahead and. Spend my fortune point to re-roll that. Yeah, why not? The rest of the adventure is going to be <laughs> plain sailing anyway. Now, <laughs> you don't have to do this. It's entirely your choice, but uh, would you like a dark deal for another re-roll? Uh, dwarves don't do dark deals. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, fair I'll enough. Talk, I'll talk it out. <laughs> okay, okay. Just leaving the option there. Just saying you can. Humans might, so we'll if see. If you want. If you want. Uh, let's grow the key 
the mutants. Right. They got fairly totaled the last round, so I am going to make a willpower roll for them. Mm -mm. Their willpower is well, only think... 30. Mary Dorinda should go next anyway, I think, shouldn't he? She? I think you're right. Yes. Because it's just, it's kind of out of order in the. That turn is order. going kind of weird. Hmm. You're, yeah, you're right. Mary... What the hell? That should be. Yes, you're right. It was married in an act. Yeah. Mind. How did that? Roll Maybe go? it was tied to only yeah. the well, specific token. Or something. They're going to turn and run anyway, so now is the time to to shoot one. If you. Uh, so I have advantage six. They're in melee range. <laughs> so minus twenty. Mm. I have. Uh, you're a wood elf with an elven bow. Anything in I saw in eye shot is almost point blank range here for you. They will oh, not be dodging. I forgot, I forgot to add the short range bonus. Oh. Another 20. So that would be five levels of success. Five and eight is um, 13. Uh, 13, yeah. Yeah, that's more than enough to kill one of them. Okay. Another two advantage. <laughs> Wait, it'd be 14. Yeah. So I get the well, edge point for he, precise. He's not going to be exactly any more dead. <laughs> well done. Uh, now the mutants turn to yeah, and one. run for the woods over this way. So. Does anyone with a ranged weapon want to try and shoot them? That'll be like... Ah, sure. Yeah. It'll be minus 30 for all the thicket getting in the way as they slip out of the circle of firelight and... Oh. <laughs> Will they be within my short range? Nope. Almost certainly. Hmm. Uh, okay. I don't so... think you have line of sight to them from there. So you could try an indirect shot. Uh say minus 50 or you can do a little move first I'll do a little move one two three four five elves get some serious stat boosts this turn this mm -hmm. uh, this edition so, so I'm currently because he's in short range it's <laughs> a hundred never had a chance <laughs> do I have any minuses um <laughs> no no you have night vision. Okay. And you also have acute sense uh, <laughs> sight, I believe. So. Oh, jeez. I do uh. believe he's dead with 20 damage. Let me have a quick look at your. So, so that's why in my home game I cap uh, advantage at initiative bonus. <laughs> mm, yeah. And again, yeah. the arms. Yeah. You just go around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> you lick, lick the feathers on two of your arrows to make them curve as they leave the bow. Slot them both in. Both his arms pinned to a tree trunk. He dies screaming. And crucified. <laughs> <laughs> through, through the elbows, because why not? That seems to be the thing. Exactly. All elbows just just die. Flail my broken arm at the elf and like, show off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, so yes, after a couple of moments to fight your or to catch your breath, or scream in pain as the situation may demand, you hear another two war horns go off in the distance. Ooh. And the second one is really a lot closer. But the storm uh, is... I can't make it sound any louder than it is. <laughs> mm. Definitely Maybe behind should... you. Definitely getting closer. Maybe we should pick up the pace and uh, find, a, find an inn or something along the way or a village. Mm -hmm. or a shelter. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Picking up the pace as best you can. Uh, I'll draw your attention to the top of the map here. 
where there's a fork in the road by a large rock, which be too far away. But, um, I have moved up so I can see it. There's something very the fact that um tiredy expo seem to be using for me. <laughs> yeah, the, my map stops <laughs> at the top. Yeah. Uh, by the rock. The uh, signpost here uh, indicates that if you take a turn towards the river on the uh, way, that's east, the right, north, uh, you will come to a place called the Hooded Man Inn. And as if guided by fate, a flash of lightning in that direction illuminates a building that has some lights on in the windows. Oh. There we go. That's our shelter. Yeah. Um, Maybe someone could take a look at that arm there. Maybe. Uh, give me one second. I have to get rid of the halfling again. I'm just we lose all of our advantage at the end of the combat. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss my plus 100. I'm sure you are. Uh, just get I mean, mule. Because if I had plus 100, I could do a heal test. <laughs> right. There we are. So... Rushing through the woods, you find yourself at the gates of a large inn. Now, unfortunately, I have had some trouble with during the play uh, Down on the bottom left of the map is a side profile of what the inn actually looks like from the outside. Okay. But oh, it's unexplored. I know what I can do. I can just create a handout for you. See how well all that goes. Where's the in gun? It's in my fourth head folder. I think. No, no. I put it in the recycle bin because I thought I was done with it. There it is. Move there. Do a little crop. We lost uh, no good. spoilers. Oh no! Hopefully, people can't hear my kids banging around upstairs. Oh, I <laughs> thought that was my dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Copy file mule. There we go. And save. Desktop, and now I can upload it. He's back. Hooray! All players. Save changes. It looks kind of like uh, what I should have just showed to everyone. Yep, yep. Okay, nice. Yep. You back with this, Grim? Uh, yeah, I'm going to apologize. I have pretty bad internet. Mm. Oh, don't worry. So I'm stuck so in may... Ireland straight after a power cut, so. I guarantee mine is worse. <laughs> it may not cut in and out every now and then. Mm. Uh, yes, I will leave um, the Discord window open there in the background. If you get disconnected, just give us a shout there, and I can I can pause matters. Right, so you got what the uh, the inn looks like now. Uh, the yeah. gates are shut, locked, in fact, and barred from the other side. Oof. I go up to the gate and bellow, uh, "Hello! <laughs> Need entrance?" No response, unfortunately. I will try and hop 
the mm. gate. Uh, How high are the gates, sir? Uh, about 12 feet high, wooden walls. In the playtest, um, Erica and the dwarf tossed the halfling over bodily. <laughs> After a fumbling failure where they just sort of smacked him straight into the gate like a hammer. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, the elf can climb things, so... Yeah, I can't climb things. Well, I can kind of, but not... Mm. I don't know how well I that can one. climb things. Yeah. Well, your, plus your broken arm uh, might... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. That'll help. <laughs> Eridrin the Glade Shadow. Elf bow? No. no. Versus 151. That was. Yeah, that's insane. I think for my own campaigns, I'm going to cap advantage at initiative as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's that's cool. silly. Yeah. But we'll start as we. Or we'll go on as we started. Uh, so, yeah, make a, a climb roll there. For the elf. Do I have any modifiers? Uh, I'll say plus ten because it's not a particularly well-made wall. That is full success levels. I don't think oh, I can yeah. hear Grim at all now. Is can everyone else hear Grim? Uh, I can. Yes, uh, they're, anyway. they're still very quiet though. Uh, it must be like a. Let me just reconnect the. If you right click on their camera. username in the chat, then you can boost the volume by up to 200%. Okay, well, this, I think which it's... is basically what I've done. I also turned down World 20's uh, the music and the sound effects so I can hear better. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. I can okay. pop yeah, them okay. down a little lower. Very good. Yeah, I maxed out my microphone's input volume. So this is unfortunately as loud as I would. Ah, well. We'll soldier on. Yeah. So... Yeah. Nice. And... I will unlock the gate for my companions. Excellent. This. And once they're in, I will lock it back up. Excellent. Let's get rid of Hooray! Gate's open. <laughs> now, sir, uh, Mary, please. You won't see. Does anyone have a med medical, uh, any kind of medical <laughs> skill? I made sure of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the curtains are drawn, but you can see people, uh, what sounds like a bar here, making merry. I will. Not okay. Um, can we? Is there a window we can look in at least? Uh... Um, all the curtains are. Ah, okay. Um, the main door is here. Grim was. Uh, I about to say can't something. see anything. <laughs> all there is, I can only see darkness at the moment. Is in the right place. I can see. Yeah. I think you might have to zoom out to find find yourself in the window. Yeah, if I click, I can get everyone to the same point. Oh right, yeah, I can see it now. My apologies. Uh, this is a very large map. It's so much laggier than it was last. Um, Last night when I play tested, I do apologize. Yeah, no worries. But it shouldn't be too serious. There's, there's surely no combat going to happen. Friend, <laughs> right. can you get some money? Oh. I'll fix this broken arm. We should, uh, <laughs> if it, if there's well, music and whatnot going on, let's uh, hit the door and uh, yeah, yeah, walk I'd in. I'd like to knock the door 
I'd like to not like be turn on the place. Oops. The music. Right. Uh, does someone knock on the door? Sure. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, try and open the door. I guess if it's... Uh, um, said, uh, he was knocking. I will yep. knock on okay. the door. Yep. The door is, in fact, bolted. As soon as you knock on the door, the sounds of merriment die down, and you can hear some murmuring, sort of questioning tone to the murmurs. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sounds of uh, chairs being drawn back. Help. One of our companions' arms has been broken. And a colossally fat man uh, <laughs> uh, I'm guessing this isn't the door then uh, here I'm gonna try and I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go out and back into the uh discord music can see if I can this is unfortunate. It's it's about to crash, isn't it? It's... Uh, I'll just for a sec. That would probably in okay, cool. improve my volume. The whole thing. Oh God, come on! Don't do this to me. Sorry, your your voice is still good, but yeah, we can. I can tell your your video keeps oh, yeah. stopping and going. That's dreadful. Oh Lord! Uh, Craig, can you hear me any better now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, yeah. it was. I had. I just went in. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're more normal for me to volume now. Okay. Yeah, that was his pod. To refresh the just again. Sure, that's it. Uh, during lockdown, and tried out uh, fan-made uh, Warhammer stuff on there, and it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Yeah, we've been using Roll Twenty for a long time. It's been pretty good for us for the voice stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. What well, during lockdown? I was doing this before. <laughs> I recently subscribed. Look at the lighting. I bet that's exactly what's causing all you. I've had some weird stuff with the lighting before, though, in different. But yeah, before lock. Exit the page. Before lockdown, I started. Our Normal. The peasant. Player oh. in my uh, my game. He eventually got beheaded by a corn cultist, and he he's rolled up a slayer. He he loves it. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. The we Page. did like a one shot. Just with like uh, and everyone took kind of random characters, and then uh, the like the guy that loves five E the most got a peddler, <laughs> 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 and he would just like spend the whole game complaining basically. <laughs> That's the fun. Right, let me turn dynamic. Yeah, we went from like off. level level twenty D and D to like Warhammer. <laughs> oh, that's so much quicker. Yeah. 
Nobody yeah, do anything just yet. I have to hide some okay. bits of the map. <laughs> but yeah, my we were so close to just meeting Gotrek and Felix. <laughs> and ah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Uh, like I said, a colossally large. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Select and move objects and tokens. That's it. Extremely rotund. Very classic innkeep uh, stereotype. Opens the door. Yeah, what do you, what do you want? He clearly seems very surprised at having visitors this late at night. I think Grimm's internet went out again. Ah. Uh, no, wow. I'm still here. Uh, food and uh, and a bit of ale will be good. And uh, maybe a, if there's a doctor of some sort. Food and ale? I... <sighs> he gives you a sort of where do you think you are look. And then sighs and uh, fine come in. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully our coin is good here. <laughs> uh, you just reveal the bar. I whoop. I basically just turn around, look at the locked gate, and then just look back at him, just like, okay, guess you're not going to question how we got here. <laughs> Uh, yes, he bids you welcome into his, uh, what the hell is going on there? Select, ah, there it is. Well, he doesn't exactly welcome you in. He welcomes you into the bar room, which has a nice roaring fire going on in the fireplace, and sitting right beside it is a man dressed in the uniform of the Empire's road wardens. He raises a glass to you. Evening. I think you have to open the door for us. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, they um, turned dynamic lighting off, but the barriers are still there. One sec. There. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That should be ah. done now. We could have uh, could have used you out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ran into a bit of trouble. Oh, see my friend uh, bandits I'm chasing some uh, bandits worse. around here. Worse, yeah. Oh my, some, some, uh... it, they weren't that big of a deal. My mm. <laughs> <Like> arm <laughs> dangles. <laughs> Otto, pour a few for our guests here. Otto gets behind the bar and grumbles, but starts pulling some pints. Oh, I can, yeah. That arm is looking a bit. Um, the worst for wear, Master Dwarf. You want to happen to have some uh, bandages or something? Uh, I mean, uh... It's not that bad, but it'd be nice to have something <laughs> so, so it wasn't flopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me, um, let me see what I've got. He rummages around in his pack, and sure enough, he's got a few bandages and some ointment. Uh, I'm not much of a healer myself, but um, I'm happy to try much obliged. I'll, I'll buy you a drink for your troubles. Hmm. Uh, Bar-main. That is intelligence, I believe. So, yes. where is he? There he is. Intelligence. Intelligence. There he is. Uh, no modifiers could be bothered. Ooh. Wow. Well, is... he does manage to fashion a sling out of it, but, um, like you said, he's not much of a healer. The ointment does take the pain away, but, um, that arm is going to need attention from a proper doctor at some point. <sighs> Best I can do. Sorry. Like I said, I'm no healer. 
Uh, oh, there's there's no need for that. Uh, name's Hans, by the way. Hans Jinkhurst. Pleased to meet you. I'm Grody. Pleasure. Mm. Erica. Right. Um, you'll have to forgive Otto. He's a bit um, jumpy. Like I said, I was uh, out here hunting bandits, and he's locked up tight because he thought you were bandits. I mean, well, that sounded like you had a party going on in here, but uh. Oh yeah, there's um, oh what's the names, Laken, uh, Altdorf coach line, uh, some coach party anyway. They were, they're just after retreating. They're kind of grumpy. They tolerated me here because I just sat here and drank me ale, but they don't like strangers all that much. Ah, uh, are they <laughs> up there? Snooty up <laughs> stuff, yeah. Stuck up their own arses, if you ask me, but their money is what's keeping this fellas in afloat. So uh, Otto reluctantly slams down a tray full of uh, mugs on the table next to Hans. You notice that um, he doesn't seem to have really washed the tankards all that much. I go ahead and drink it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, me too. My breath about human ale and. <laughs> suck it up and keep drinking it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm sorry, I don't drink. It's alright, I'll drink for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes, Hans smiles and takes another swig of his own. It's not the best, but it'll get the job done. Uh, Otto grumbles, I suppose you want feeding too. Uh, <sighs> If you got any rooms. They're all full with the coach party. I, oh. I, come on, Otto. You've got the common room spare. Fine, fine. Yeah, you can have the common room. It'll be three, five shillings for the night. Okay. Now... Excuse me, I have to fire up the kitchen again. He wanders off back into the kitchen through the doors here. I turn my companions. Grumbling. We have five shillings between the three of us. <laughs> I don't know how much we have. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, the merchant was the richest one. I got one two. shilling. I got one. One shilling, three pennies. <laughs> yeah, I have two shillings, six pennies. <laughs> What about I you, Grim? Nine shillings. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. All right, we're good. Business is That's good for the bounty go. hunter. Oh, damn. I was meant to take their heads. <laughs> hmm. Go back out in the morning. Hey. Uh, Hans sits forward and goes, Well, so you said you had uh, worse than bandits out in the road. Dare I ask what exactly? We ran into a group of beast men. We ran into a beast man hunting party. Uh, and from the sounds of it, there were two more coming our way. Bloody hell. Well, here's hoping they steer clear of a hooded man. I mean, the, the walls ought to do it. They're not the, the smartest. But, oh, that yeah, bodes, that bodes ill. Bridge. That bodes very ill. It's the bad weather brings it out. Likely think that the storm is a sign from their idiot gods or whatever. Not like good Sigmar fearing folk. Stay indoors on a night like this. <sighs> Some throw parties too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Otto comes back out and uh, hands a word, please. And then he just disappears back into the kitchen again. At this point, on the second swing of the doors, a wee lad with very protuberant looking eyes. It looks like he had his eyelids sliced off almost. Comes out with a mop and bucket and starts cleaning the floor behind the bar and uh, sort of breathes 
through his mouth at you. Hands, hands must be a regular. I'm pretty familiar with the uh, inky. Must be oh yeah, I pass through this way pretty often on my patrols. Well, I better see what the old codger wants, if you'll excuse me. I'm going to head by the fire and pick my feet up. In. Start Absolutely. Up. It is deliciously warm. And the ale is not bad, <laughs> to be fair. And uh, the guy with the mop just stays mopping. And breathing loudly through his mouth like an uncultured swine. So you guys can I pay one wing each and I pay the other three? Or do you want me to pay the five and you owe me meal? No, I can pay a shilling, that's okay. Yeah, we can each pay, pay one. I'd rather not owe an elf anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, can I, uh, mm -hmm. like, step up to the bar and see if I can uh, hear anything about the. Uh, at all going on uh... Uh, make a perception test uh, minus 10 for trying to listen through the door okay I will do the same I am suspicious of what is going on uh, what about 5 degrees of uh, failure <laughs> 5 levels of failure well you can definitely <laughs> hear the guy with the mop breathing through his mouth Oh great! <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, that one beer hit me hit me pretty hard. <laughs> what about my three degrees of failure? <laughs> oh, he licks his lips as well. It's a sort of a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stopped listening to those. Yes, let's. I will take this seat by the fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. No, uh, oh, you no. do dimly no. hear uh, Hans going, Will you calm down, Otto? They're just in for the night. They're not bandits. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes out and sits down again. Ugh, that man will be the death of me, I swear. He's paranoid as anything these days. I suppose I can't blame him, really. Business hasn't been too great. Uh yes. Seems, seems like you gotta seems like gotta run the place for him almost. Mm. I appreciate well, a good paranoia. I'm sure you've noticed his um his people skills aren't exactly the best. He uh I don't think he was supposed to end up inheriting this inn. But well, you know how it is. Succession between as bad as succession between the it can get messy. Uh, the guy with the bug eyes uh, comes out and walks past you through the door into the hallway. You hear him clumping up some stairs behind the fireplace. He keeps staring at you all the time. Like you're celebrities or something. And, and breathing. It's, it's a very annoying... Sorry? What's the child's problem? Oh, uh, Fagor? Um, I think he may have been dropped on his head as a child. Something like that. He's, he's, the boy ain't quite right. He's harmless, but um, he does stare a lot. Well, uh, he, nephew job, of Otto, I believe. <laughs> What about the heavy breathing and the lip king? Oh, well. He's probably never seen anything more civilized than an outhouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Um, hope you like outhouses. <laughs> As, uh... it's, it's not the most... Uh, we're still many miles from Altdorf, my friends. I'm sure there's a bucket or two in the common room. Oh, great. <laughs> Otto comes out with a play of steaming hot stew. He puts it down on the table, grumbling, and hands out bowls to each of you. And they 
turns and just stands behind the bar looking bored, twiddling his apron. Uh, I start eating. Yep. Uh, Hans, Hans just immediately on. tucks in, going, oh, yeah. Uh, he's a miserable bastard, is Otto, but he can he can cook a good stew. Nom, 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 nom. Chow's down. Um, the stew is actually quite good. Now, um, I forgot to have the adventure open on my desktop, so I'm just going to have to go get that. Boop, boop, boop. Where's Night of Blood gone? There it is. Uh, you've escaped the beast man. Got Hans. I could do with another pint. Um, starts pouring some more for you. Yeah. Uh, comes over, slams him down, almost spills half of it. But nice. yeah, it's included in the room. Wow. Given we're so yeah. full yeah. right. I mean, hands to thank for that, that sweet talking bastard. Yeah. Your ale stores might be regretting that uh, business decision, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Hans, for his part, just chuckles and swigs his beer down. Ah, Lord, so what brings he uh, out all this way? Through beastmen and bandits and gods know what else. Yeah, it wasn't the smartest decision to be out on this night. <laughs> Couldn't say that again. Truth be told, I almost thought you were bandits before you hollered on the door. But uh, bandits wouldn't have knocked on the front door, so... You're not bandits, are you? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Just checking. It's my job. All right. Well, excuse me. It's been a long day. You're not joining the party upstairs? Oh, no, they I don't. You. I was not invited. Uh, but I do have a room. I managed to snag the last one. So if uh, you'll excuse me, I will make my way to bed. I bid you good night. Uh, <sighs> and he disappears out and up the stairs. Night. Yes. It is quite late. Um, yeah. But the stew is hearty and fulfilling. Um, I'm going to say, for the sake of argument, everyone gets a health back from it so let me just nice bump up your wounds that's it the spot that's so you say you were sleeping in the common room or what is the oh yeah uh, yeah all right follow me he clumps out and goes to the door everybody else has gone through uh, ba -ba -bum. make sure we're in the air is. Yes. okay sorry I said I'd make sure to bring an ale or two with me. Uh, yes. <laughs> he shouldn't be there. Here we go. Um, you meet Fagor on the way up. He's coming back down after having mopped the floors extensively. They're all soaking wet. Yeah. He breathed at you as he goes back into the bar. <laughs> and did it do I had this set up for the lighting so I'm just going to move all three of you to the upper floor there and just where's the reveal button gone there it is uh, wait no that's cover everything in fog this is <laughs> reveal there we go uh Tools. Yes. Otto clumps his way down the hallway here. Clearly not caring if you're following or not. While well, he fumbles on do his we, uh, belt for the ring of keys. Do we hear where the party's coming from or? Uh everything's quiet. Oh no, now it's quiet. Okay. Hmm. He thinks, oh, 
yeah, here's the key. He unlocks the door and opens it for you. Well, go on in. It's haven't been able to haven't had time to clean the sheets since the last crowd. Wasn't expecting any more visitors tonight. Well, it's the best I can do. All right. <clears throat> oh, we'll make do, Otto. Yeah. Well. Good night. 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 Glowers at you as you all pass into the common room. <laughs> Uh, come to think of it, you are getting pretty drowsy. Otto closes the door behind him and immediately locks it. Oh, nice. Oh, well, that'd be good for our protection. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, this is where the drugs yeah, look kick in. That ale. He doesn't want to lose the well, money. Do they look like any clean spots on the floor, or does it look uh... um <laughs> probably cleaner on the bits that don't have bed sheets on them? They are um soiled. <laughs> to put it diplomatically. But uh, you don't have time to worry about that because uh, what's your toughness bonus, everyone? Three... Ooh. Twelve minutes. Uh, three. Right, I'm going to need an endurance test from all of you. This must be a rough blanket. Crits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, about 15 minutes after you finish your meal, you, your lids, your eyelids start getting seriously heavy. Very drowsy. Now, um. It lasts one d ten. Modifiers for the endurance test. No modifiers. Okay. For every level of success you get, you're um, knocked unconscious for one hour less than seven. Uh, what about every oh. level minus? <laughs> you are out for seven hours unless someone slaps you awake. What Excuse about me. critical <laughs> success? Um. Yes. That. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the uh, the sleep. Excuse me. The sleeping drug does not affect your um, elven constitution quite the same way. And uh, you shrug it off after about half an hour of meditation. Uh, I'll just uh, walk in and say. I'm out, guys, and I'll just be thump. You hear me? You hear my head hit the, head yep. hit the floor. <laughs> uh, during your meditation, you hear uh, the unmistakable breathing sound of young Fagor uh, coming up to the door. Uh, he thinks he's being stealthy, but um, you're a wood elf. You've you've seen stealthier elephants. Or mammoths, maybe? I don't know. You, he's very bad at it, anyway, is what I'm getting at. Uh, you can hear him uh, clearly listening at the door for signs of uh, movement or anything. And then he goes sort of, heh. And you hear him uh, walk back down the hallway and downstairs. I am going to kick someone awake. Fantastic. Um... Which one first? Probably the dwarf. Alright. Um, right, Grody, you're quite surprised by how quickly you fell asleep considering the pain your elbow was in. But a fall asleep you did. Until mm -hmm. you were woken by a wood elf kneeling next to you and slapping you in the face. I, I put a finger yeah. to my lips. You are feeling extremely drowsy. You will be at minus 10 until you can uh, take something to uh, wake you up a bit. Uh, what is it, Elf? I believe we've been drugged. Hmm. That's someone's, someone's just come up to the door, laughed about it, and then walked back off. 
it's oh, a wait a second I can put the sound effects back on they're almost relevant yes there we go uh Erica gets kicked awake much the same way oh my head mm hmm all seriously <laughs> drowsy except my the nose. elf who is just elves are just insufferably above this sort of thing bloody elves what happened I believe you've been drugged and they're probably planning something since one of them came up to the door hmm. well, they did get yeah. quiet everyone quickly there. can make a perception check any bonuses uh, just, uh, do you have anything relating to sight yes I have acute sense of sight then you don't even have to roll for it you will notice it automatically there's a glint of reflection in the window that you weren't expecting to see your keen elven eyes spot it. Mm. It's um, it's Otto. He's gone outside into the pouring rain. Can you all see him there? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. And he's got his hood up or his hat on, and he wanders out, hurries over to the stables, and pops in there for a couple of minutes, and then he comes right back out and hurries back to the door of the inn and he is swiftly followed by and I'm going to have to get everyone to make another endurance check oh, geez. because he's swiftly nice followed <clears throat> by what well, looks like a dude but instead of uh, waist he's got spider legs and he sort of just skitters across the courtyard with a sort of sound do I still have to make the test with my critical success for my lap absolutely uh, this oh, is to resist oh, chaos is this a negative 10 since I'm still drunk hey I made my 20% your endurance <laughs> can't be that low can it uh, well I, I minus 10 right because I'm uh, drugged oh you're at minus 10 yes to the roll. I, I will use so, minus 10, yeah, so roll less than 20, I think. Yeah. Or thereabouts. <laughs> yeah. All right. If <laughs> you fail, then you take a point of corruption <laughs> as knowledge of what chaos can do to a, a, a healthy body sinks into your soul and sort of embeds itself there. And that's horrifying you can also clearly see that his f mouth was covered in blood just his uh, his little wispy beard was caked in it i think uh they both uh go inside you hear the door slamming you might be i am safer check if the window's <laughs> out of here mm -hmm. uh the windows are indeed locked but they are large and made of glass. I do have a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. I could get us through this rocket. Uh, you could try with... Uh, that'll be a dexterity roll. Dex. There any modifiers? Um, I'm going to say no. No. Next. You're not exactly a skilled lockpick. But then again, the window isn't exactly a complex mechanism, so. But pick it might be. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so. you could always take a dark deal if you like. You don't have <laughs> to. You don't have to. I'm going to save my reroll for later. Fair enough. It's your choice. Uh, pickaxe? Sure, yeah. Pickaxe on the door handle. That's going to create quite a bit of noise. How high are we up? On the uh, floor? That is the second floor. It would be about a 15 foot drop from the windowsill. Well, it's a drop. Hmm. Uh, you might be able to break it by landing 
on the roof here uh, for uh, as a building next to the kitchen has its own sort of extension uh, but that is a sloped roof and the rain is pelting down so it'll be very slippery my groggy state I don't think I could make a jump like that but I don't admit it to anybody <laughs> With your broken arm, too, yeah. During yeah, the yeah. playtest, everyone critically failed that jump. It was not pleasant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you two should get your bows ready, and I'll, I'll swing my pickaxe at the door handle. Right. Uh, I'm going to say that's a strength check. I'll give you plus 30 for having the pick. It's quite okay. good at levering mechanisms out of doors and things like that. Wouldn't it make more sense to try and break the lock on the window? Too late now. Oh, yeah, that's that's nicely <laughs> done. Five I levels guess. of success. <laughs> Not even that much noise. You just uh, managed to jam it in behind some of the screws and wrench out it comes. Door is open. And uh, you're free. Free, sweet. Okay. I think that door is still there. Yeah, it is. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Would you like me to count ahead, make sure no one's there? Might be an idea. See if you yeah, can hear any heavy breathing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be a stealth roll from the elf then, I believe. Any modifiers? Uh, it is dark. Uh, and Fagor is thicker than mince, so I think, wait a minute, I want to see your own, blah, 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 blah. it's perfectly dark, you have night vision, and shadow is semi-relevant, so I'm going to say you also have plus 30 to your stealth roll. Six degrees nice. You are a ghost. <laughs> uh, a quick check of the door handles uh, reveals that the other rooms are all locked. And it sounds... You can't even hear breathing in there, so... It's possible they're all dead or drugged like you are, or uh, they were lying about having people in. Uh, stealthily padding down the uh, corridor, you you see uh, Fagor, uh, or at least his shadow on the wall here. He's on the stairs. You see him... Uh, frantically scutt scuttling uh, downstairs uh, into the bar it sounds like I am going to quietly call for my companions to move up and I'm going to draw my bow and notch an arrow mm -hmm. I'll try and be quiet, quiet as I can too second I forgot to fill in the stats for these guys, but they're all 30, so that won't take too long. Or close enough to 30, that'll make no difference. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, good. Now let me roll Fagor's perception. If he notices us, he will probably get a shot. He has no idea. No. Uh, the way is clear back down to the bar. Let me just make sure there are no surprises there. And I will just grab your tokens and pop them back in the bar. And move the window. There we go. Uh, let's see. You can clearly see that the trapdoor to the cellar is wide open. Ooh. Is that the X there above the five? Yes, it is. Okay. And mm. there is 
a weird off-key sort of chanting coming from down below. I think I need to go down there. I'm going to give Otto a piece of my mind. Wait. Hmm. I had a thought. Is the fire still on? It is, yes. What if we were to just throw down a couple burning logs and lock the door on them? That, that would be a good idea. Just set the whole bar on fire. <laughs> so but who's going to do that? We burn up the, the coach people, though. That were having the party last night. They are probably dead. Can you like poke your head down there and see how big how big that area is? Because it might be a big area, it might be a small area. We don't uh, know. You can indeed. Yeah, if it's like a um, big area. I'll just reveal the cellar. Boop. Now I'll just drag your attention over to the cellar. Is that not working? I can see. Okay, it doesn't look that big, right? Oh, I'm using the wrong uh, pointing tool. Yeah. It's over here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you poke your head down here. Uh, the mm -hmm. chanting sound is stronger, but um doesn't seem to be anyone there. Uh, if you could make a perception check, anyone who does peek, though. Uh, does my acute sense sign? Yes, that is relevant. In. Uh, you don't have to roll for it, bloody elves. Also, are there any <laughs> strong spirits that are highly flammable on the bar? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty well-stocked bar. Uh, there are all sorts of spirits. And there are further kegs of the things down in the cellar. I will be taking a couple flammable spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very plain to see to your elvish eyes that um, a flagstone in the middle of the cellar has been moved recently. It's uh, not got the same kind of mortar in between uh, mm. its cracks as the rest of the the place. The dirt's been cleared away from it. And that is definitely where the source of the chanting is coming from. Do you guys think it would be a smart idea to knock a barrel of certain flammable down there and then just torch the place? If you were to put the flat stone on, would not have to worry about fire spreading? Yeah. Sounds good to me. They're chanting. Mm -hmm. Can't be good and deserves to be burned <laughs> out. Yeah, the sound of the chanting is weird and discordant and it scratches at the back of your mind like a splinter. Yeah. There's something very wrong about it. Okay, you want to light one of the barrels and try right. it down. Uh, who is okay. <laughs> going into the cellar to do this? I am not physically strong, so probably I got 30, not me. 32 strength, but... Uh, 30 is around average for a human, yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, I, I can do it because I'm probably the strongest. Oh god, I am the strongest here. Oh, you are. Two, 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 two functioning arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Yes. <laughs> also, yes. Um, anyone who's helping bring a barrel down can make another perception check. If they have okay. acute hearing, that will be very useful. But I don't, don't think anyone does. Do. Perception. Uh, uh, or not. <laughs> <laughs> no and Grody. No. Uh, can you guys still hear me? Yep. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, right. Did uh, Meridrinda roll? I don't see anything. I didn't hear any of what you've just said. Ah, right. My Discord was being bad. Oh dear, he's asking for roll perception. Can uh, you hear me? Yes, roll perception, Grim. Perception, any bonuses? Um, gonna say no. 
I don't think anyone else has acute hearing. Nope, not me. No, no. Let's uh, see how it goes. So, perception. Wait for it to roll itself. Boop, doop, doop. Mm, what time is it? It is quarter to four. Oh, yeah. Good time, good time. There we go, minus four. Jeez. Bloody hell. Right. Uh, well, you don't hear anything specific, but the chanting has stopped. <laughs> it's... Uh, Oddly quiet. So, uh, sorry, you cut out there, Grim. Uh, sorry, you. I'm not hearing anything there at all, Grim. Barrel down. I just got barreled down. I didn't hear anything else. I guess. How. Oh. I don't hear him either anymore. Yeah. Deary me. Um I just maybe just wondering what the effect of the barrel is. If we did get we did we roll the barrel down yet or did we just uh, no, um, not even Yeah, between two of you it's easy enough to to okay. roll down. Um let's see. Yeah, we're, we're Send we a going message in, to Grim. In the cellar or just rolling the barrel down, throwing the, the fire down. Well, it's. I mean, we got to get it down that hole. This, if we can oh, somehow one. get it through there, right? I mean, that's basically unless. Oh, I was uh, thinking. We yes. Just set this room on fire, so that way <laughs> they have, they're trapped. <laughs> yeah, uh, that might be a good idea. Hmm. Ah, but his internet yeah. has crashed. I see. We'll just have to wait until he gets back. Okay. I'm impressed. We found some worse internet than mine. <laughs> yeah. Do, do. Well, while I'm waiting, let's see if anything else has been sold. Nope. Yes. Very good. Well, so far, I don't have to run anything this evening, which is looking good for me. <laughs> nice. Has this been the first game you've uh, run this weekend? Uh, yes. Uh, not counting a quick playtest I did with some friends last night. Okay. Um, that went about as well. There were some horrible <laughs> wounds. Um, little dismemberment. <laughs> you know, the usual. Uh, I have not done an awful lot of uh, running games online, so I'm still a bit rusty at it uh, yeah, same. yeah. But, um, certainly my first uh, Warhammer Fantasy I was doing a lot of um, Alien uh, oh, okay cool in the past Heard good things about that it's fantastic yes they, they've absolutely nailed the the feeling of the films uh, it's mostly about um, stress <laughs> excellent oh, there's I can hear um, all I caught Light was blast. barrel down. So, could you repeat? Sorry. Ah, oh, bloody hell! That wasn't supposed to happen. Never mind. Sorry. Yes. Could you repeat what you said? Hello. Oh, has it crashed again? Me. Oh no. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe some text? Here. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Grim is typing again. Huh. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that's fair. 
No, oh, at least he's typing in there. Yeah, oh, I need to get through this one way or another. This is, mm -hmm. yeah, you're pretty well, close to end game here, so. Yeah, we can make a decision to, uh, <laughs> are we, so do we want to drop the barrel here or do you want to go uh, in the other, I mean, I think they've heard us anyway at this point, but. I mean, we can mm. drop it here, set the fire here, and then we can block the, the trap door up in the bar, up behind the bar. Yeah. Cause... I mean, they would probably, yeah, yeah they're going to come out. If they're going to run through the fire, I don't know. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, they may not come up. Wait, wait, but... You're supposed to be there. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, there you are. Yep. yep. Yes. Right, that was weird. Uh, yes, so I think everyone was arguing what exactly to do with the flammable barrel. Yeah. Like, do we set this room on fire or throw it into the next room? throw the fire down there. I'm suggesting we throw it down where the flagstone is, set fire, and put the flagstone back, and wait. We might be able to do both, actually. We could probably do it more than one barrel, right? Um, are, are there yeah. shelves and stuff down here? There are plenty of uh, barrels lying around here, yeah. Most of them are full, in one way or another. Uh, half of them would be ale, the larger ones, and there are some smaller kegs that would they they smell like spirits. We could also use the heavier kegs to set on top of the flagstone. Yeah. After we drop the thing down, yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. If we have time, yeah. <laughs> so, you lift up the flagstone, you can make one more perception check. Hearing based. Going on? I'm going to make one of them at some point. Let's see. <laughs> No, with the negative 10, it makes it hard. <laughs> That's true. I fail. Oh, oh well. Yeah, three levels of failure. All right, you can clearly okay, hear cool. the um, the chanting once you lift the flagstone up. And sobbing. Sobbing, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. And... Mm. Uh, that's definitely Hans's voice. He's going, oh, quit sobbing. It's a waste of perfectly good suffering. I, I turn to the elf. I think you're wrong about the, uh, the coach people being dead. Oh, boy. There is a scream. Nah. Uh, even I heard that one. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Um, well, my motivation is to suffer no insult, and so you know what? I'm just gonna be like, Well, gotta do this the dwarf way, gotta get our hands dirty. Hmm. <laughs> and I start to head down <laughs> with my pickaxe. <laughs> he did try to drug you, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Acting in accordance with your motivation will get you back a point of resilience. Oh, cool. And uh, you're the first person to, um, damn it. Select and move to see the shrine to the dark gods oh, oh boy. hidden <laughs> carefully below the cellar. Uh, now that resilience that you just got back, mm -hmm. you could, yeah. uh, are the rest of you following? Yeah. Hmm. Excellent. Uh, I am going to say, for the sake yeah. of not everyone dying, that um, a quick nip of whiskey from one of the kegs there will remove the uh, uh, the drugged uh, okay. condition. Feeling so, a little better. Uh, they haven't <laughs> noticed you quite yet. Um, Hans is down here. Yeah, what do we see? Uh, How many so is here? Otto. Uh, so is Fagor. So is spider thing. that horrible skittering spider dude. And another fellow in robes with no face at all. Uh, did the barrel do anything with the... It got their attention. Oh, great. Perfect. <laughs> this you're, is the plan. You're supposed to be drugged! Screams <laughs> Otto. The guy oh. with no face goes ah, 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 because he has no lips. 
I have a grudge against you, barkeep. Mm -hmm. And also in chains around the uh, the statue there is um, what looks like the real innkeeper, his wife, and several servants, and the coach party. Yes, the real landlord, his wife, two servants, and one of the coachmen, still alive. There are some corpses already. Mm -hmm. There are some corpses discarded to the side here, and blood has clearly been spilled on the shrine, and it is flowing onto this weird area of floor here, and the blood is starting to take on eldritch sigils that change shape as you look at them. And hurts the eye to look at. Well, Hans goes. Cinch will take your souls just as readily as these. Kill them! And it is initiative time. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me get rid of Someone's those. Someone's going to die here. Absolutely. <laughs> but who? <laughs> Right, Hans is going to make his roll. I'm getting a suspicion that I'm and probably Otto. going first. Mm. Ah, shoot. Um, well, the 16. 16. 16. And 13. Oh, that's not Hans. He rolled 16. Uh, oh, yeah, I was... Selected the wrong guy. Now it's Otto. That's better. Right. Otto... Grat, the spider dude. Um, three, three... And initiative. Oh, not again. I thought I'd selected him. Nope, I had not. Oh, I'm an idiot. I, damn it, I forgot to I forgot to click my thing when I rolled initiative. Oh yeah, that's annoying. And roll twenty. Fagor. Doo -doo -doo. Is that everyone? And Wilhelm, the guy with no face. Uh where is he gone? That should be the lot of them. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, has everyone else got their... Uh... Uh, I forgot to click my token, but right. my initiative was 16. Alright, could you uh, add them in there. roll it again, and I will change it to 16. Okay. So, initiative is in... Main. Main, yeah. Make sure your token is selected. I've selected my token and submit. There you are. Do you want to keep the 18? Yeah, I think I'll keep <laughs> yeah. the 18. Very oh, good. Yeah. Let me 18. sort those out in order. And Meridrinda, your Oof. turn. Oof. They're going. Yeah. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, but we can. Um, uh, remember, you can use. Uh, oh, yeah. Fortune uh, point. Fortune to change uh, position, uh right? another thing you yeah. can do with resilience is uh avoid the roll entirely and just sorry it's not resilience it's resolve you can spend a resolve point and declare what the dice result is which is very handy when you're trying to fight someone who's got a huge advantage over you it will like, so automatically pass with one success but we could take initiative then. So can we take the initiative? Because I got, I, I'd rather, I like to spend a resolve then or whatever get initiative. Uh, yeah, you can um, spend. Um, I think it's fortune to act take at any point. So because okay, I got yeah. a four fortune points, so I might as well start spending them. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yep. um, I'm yeah, okay, so I'll go. I'll go after. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so combat action. Erica wants can to I... go after Meritrenda? Yeah, I... Okay. We'll yeah, sure. You can make me like 17 or something. 17. Well, it was only yeah. for this uh, round, I believe. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. And go back to nine again. Grody, 17. 
as well. Oh, I don't. I don't have a fortune point. So. All right. Yeah. Do you want to make a dark deal and re-roll your initiative? Mm. Nah, that's all right. I mean, I'll it was <laughs> pretty low. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Marriage does press. it first. Uh, what combat actions are there? Uh, let, so me, I, let me quick look. Can you take the aim action? I believe you can. Let me just make absolutely sure. I might so need aim too. <laughs> I think that's been my problem. I haven't been aiming. <laughs> Taking your turn. Combat difficulty. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, it takes uh, an action to aim, and you get plus twenty to the next okay. attack. Okay, I is it a full action? It is, I'm afraid. I will full action aim then. Very good. Uh, that will be plus twenty to your next attack. So, Erica. Okay, I'm just gonna straight out shoot and rely on my fortune to, uh, <laughs> to even it out. Uh, very good. So, uh, it's even. Hey, I hit something. Um, did the same old six damage, but uh. Fantastic. Um, any particular target you want? Uh, I'm gonna hit the um, yeah, I'll hit the the guy in the robes. Uh, good choice. Uh, he yeah. is terrifying. You don't want to actually go anywhere near him. So he has yeah, I got advantage. 12 wounds to start with, and you did 6 damage. 6, yeah. Uh, his toughness bonus is 3, and I was an idiot and closed the PDF again. Uh, where are the stats? There we are. No proper face, just a skull. You need to get one success on a uh, an endurance test or cool test to um, approach him in melee. Okay. He has yeah, I'm not a approach him right weapon now. plus seven corruption minor. Uh, yeah, uh, he can't do anything to dodge. So, yep. He Oop. takes his six. He takes three wounds. Oop. In the body. Mm-hmm. And you gain an advantage. Nice. Right. Figor is up. Uh, he charges the elf. Which could be awkward. Uh, what was Miradrinda aiming at? Uh, it was going to be the horrific spider dude. Interesting. Uh, if this hits, it may disrupt your aim. Seven, a sword. And he has plus ten for charging. Oof. Well, he hits unless you can dodge. Um, you can parry dodge. with the bow if you like, but that'll ruin your aim. Uh, I'm going to go with dodge, although I don't have anything trained in. Mm -hmm. I don't have it kick. I believe it's a basic skill, so you can yeah. make the roll anyway. It'll be just your basic agility. Or, yeah, agility. Forgery is a failure. Oh dear. Well, he hits you. For ten. So that's down to nine from R, minus another three, so that's six damage. Right. This bastard has disrupted my aim. <laughs> to eleven wounds. Um, I'm going to say make... Um, uh, I think... Cool or endurance, your choice test to keep your aim after getting stabbed. I will go with cool. Very good. Oh, I should probably get the fighting music on. Uh, failure. Oh, well. Although it's not really ruined my plans, if I'm honest. Mm-hmm. Very good. Well, he gets 
two advantage. All that's Oof, happened Fagor's is he's done. going to die a lot quicker now. Mm -hmm. Hans, uh. for his part, um, starts chanting. Moves behind Otto, the colossally fat man. Grabs him by the hair, tilts his head back and slits his throat. Yeah. Ooh. Blood sprays all over the fountain, uh, all over the statue, as his um, body goes limp and the statue starts glowing. And there's a bit of a rumble. Wilhelm, he so charges the there. dwarf. <laughs> The dwarf is going to have to make an endurance test to not uh, gain a broken condition, which means flee and hide. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, you've, all of a sudden, you now need to take up the Slayer's Oath. Yep. <laughs> so, I know uh, you haven't been accepting them just yet, but there's, there's always a dark deal. It's just one corruption point. Sure, I'll do that. One, dark deal. one yes, little corruption sold. point. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, my max corruption is eight, so I, I can handle it. So I'll take the corruption and I'll re-roll here. <laughs> mm. Excellent. <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, right, you have to um, immediately try and flee. Get away from the source of the panic. Go up those stairs. I guess you go up those stairs. Whoop! <laughs> You're on the map just uh -huh. above Temple. Really? Where are you going? <laughs> he goes, ah! <laughs> and runs. Do the Scooby-Doo, like, run in air. And <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Grat, the spider thing. He skitters onto the roof and takes a swing at Erica from above. Oh, thank <laughs> God. I'm going to let's see. He's got spider legs, I'm gonna... but the ends of those okay. legs end in tentacle suckers. My bow and... out, so it's again. So uh, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Grat makes his. I can... oh, he's got weapon skill thirty. Let me just hey, change bad. that. Oh, not three thirty. No, I think it should be free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd feel much better if it was a free. I know you would. Boop. He has not charged. He's merely moved into combat. Uh, Fails. I, right. Uh, yeah, I got you. Handily dodge. Uh, and Grody, you're sobbing in a corner <laughs> up in the uh, up in the basement. <laughs> You can make another <laughs> make cool or endurance test. I will do cool. And if you pass, please lob, please lob a flaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what would your ancestors say? You know. I know. I'm shaking my head after this. There's, there's, there's <laughs> still always the dark deal. Something. No, no, no. Dark deal won't judge you. Not like your ancestors. No? Okay. Nah. Okay. Your choice. Meridrinda, then. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Who looks tougher out of the human and the skeletal looking guy? Um. They both look about the same, only the skeleton is literally terrifying. If it advances towards you, you will have to make a test to panic yourself. If you engage it in close combat, you'll have to make a cool test first as well. Okay, I am going to point blank, Mr. Skeletor. Right. Could you make a cool test for me then, please? Uh, or endurance, if that's better. Uh, isn't that only on melee? Point blank is close enough. He did a lot of charging in this direction. Uh, the dwarf fled, but he'll settle for you. Uh, those legs don't look very solid. 
he's bad average human. Okay, I will point blank miss action. No, I will just go for Skeletor. Fair enough. So, cool or endurance, I will go cool. I have an entire three points. Oh. <laughs> Fumbling. Oh, I'm going Man. to re-roll that. Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, so that's a fate point, right? Uh, fortune. Fate is to avoid dying horribly. Yeah, we might need those later. <laughs> fortune down to zero. See, if I'm honest, I know what I want to do. It's just whether or not the dice will let me do it. Oh, right, you are no longer afraid of Mr. Skellington. So you don't have to uh, make the roll ever again. I am going to spend my resolve. I Fun fact, when I point blank him, I rolled a 1. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so, with all of my bonuses, that is, is something horrific. It is actually not an opposed roll, because he already acted this turn. Oh my. Yeah, um... He's got the... Whoo. Do you see looking sh uh, elbows or what? Meridrinda, your sure. I'll go for an elbow. Skill. <laughs> What's or your an weak point? <laughs> Skills and talents. You're fifty-one. You pass by five levels of success. Then Fif uh, fifty-one plus the what forty odd for point blank. Mm-hmm. It's five. That's so nine that's levels of nine success. Nine degrees of success. <laughs> Ooh, so and... 9 plus 8, uh, that's 18 damage. Plus your precise for the plus 1. Yeah, so that's 18 damage. Then I need to roll a crit. Yes, yes you do. And I believe 10 is the head. Let me just get up the critical tables again. Excuse me. I, I really hope you roll a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Say again. I'm just hoping he falls over dead. Because that would be very helpful. I have head crystals up right now. Mm hmm. I got them here as well. A uh, okay. one! What are the odds? A one. Is that the worst? Uh, it's a dramatic question. injury. I Question: mm -hmm. Can I gain a corruption to roll that? Uh, yes, you can, if you want to. I'm going to. <laughs> is... I'm going to do that. Okay, take a point of corruption. I have. I am now up to two corrupt. Mm. Thirty-five is oh, yeah, certainly more. Take it over this layer, pretty soon. <laughs> the amount of corruption we're taking us. Stunned condition. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's an extra two damage. So what's the total wounds there? Twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh no, that twenty. That is more than enough. You He's put dead. the arrow straight through an eye socket. In fact, it carries on going through the eye socket and embeds itself into the statue right next to Hans. Um, a joke we had in my other group for point-blanking people was you don't actually draw it back and let go. You <laughs> just sort of gently push it in. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Pull back the drawstring, gently just push it into their skull. Nice. Alright, speaking of skulls, Erica, would yeah, you so like to bash someone's skull in? Well, my initiative goes back down now, right? This round? Uh, goes back oh, down to nine. yeah, you're right. Sorry. Just yeah, uh, yeah. sort that out again. What the hell? No, we did. Meridrinda. Yeah. Then it's Hans. Right, he continues chanting. Uh, moving a little further back. And the uh, statue begins to crack down the middle. Someone needs to shoot hands. Fegor yeah. is going to hit the elf again. Or Fegor at least try. Not to do that. Alright, uh, I should gain. Got... 
I should gain two advantages. Mm -hmm. That'll match his two advantage. Oof. Oof. I'm uh, rolling really well this time. <laughs> dodge. Do I mm -hmm. get my plus 20 for my two advantages? You absolutely do, yes. Nice. Whoa. Fair enough. Yeah. Nice. You he cannot sure. hit you. Do I, do I gain an advantage for him? Thing? You do gain an advantage while he loses his. Good. Very good. Uh, Grat, now the spider dude, gone. he skitters at you and lashes out at Erica again. Uh -oh. uh, do I have the... Yes, I do have the weapon up. We got to dodge again. He has no advantage. Oof. He does uh, hit though. Okay, I might uh, have to... You can, uh, you can oppose that with your own melee or... Yeah, oh, hey, there we go. Critical success. Right. That's... He still wins on success yeah. levels. Yeah. So he does technically hit. Uh, but... So if I spend a fortune, can I get that up one more success level and then we tie, or is that, is that like a... Uh, yeah, you could immediately spend a fortune point to add a success level. That would make yeah, it a tie, which means, yeah, he misses. Yeah, fair okay, enough. I better do that, because, uh, yeah. All right, Grant misses. And we're right back to Erica. Okay, so... Uh, I'm not... So if I'm not engaged with the hands, can I... I can... Um, I'm still engaged, right? So I'm minus to shoot hands. I'd be minus something, right? Uh, yes, you're engaged with the spider thing on the ceiling. Okay, but I think I better still try and shoot hands just because he's a uh... kill the guy that's engaging me. Strategically, I will then have a better shot on hand. Okay, yeah, because you're in your better shot anyway. So okay, I'll try that. Very good. Yeah, and plus I hate that sucking that sucking sound he makes with the <laughs> so. <laughs> I just I just hate his so. existence. Yeah. Uh, so I'm this is uh, point I'm point blank, but he's in melee and all that stuff. What's the total modifiers? Uh, I don't know. Plus forty for point blank. Uh, I'll say minus ten for close combat. It's yeah, plus thirty total. Okay, so I uh, hit. Seven success seven, levels. Nice. Okay. Four. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Yep, he sprouts an arrow in his shoulder. Okay. And Grody! You still sobbing. Yep, take my cool test. <laughs> I'll give you plus uh, ten. Oh. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> nice. What would your ancestors nice. think of you? <laughs> Come back. You I'll turn around. You. I'll head back, and I'll yep. if I can make it to the. Uh, you only spider needed gun. one success level to overcome your fear. Nothing okay. scares you down there right now. Please, uh, kill you can child attacking easily me. charge straight mm -hmm. into Spider Dude. Well, can if I come down the stairs, do I have? Would I be stopped by the spider dude, or can I head to the child? He's guy? on the ceiling, so I'm gonna say yeah. You could scoot under him. Uh, right, then I will scoot under him and uh, go for the the child. For Fagor, okay. With your big yeah. pick, he is going to try and dodge. He's probably not going to do very well. Uh, can Does I that count as a charge? Guys, uh, you have resolve to spend, I think. Uh, yes. yes. Right, he fails to get out of the way anyway, so all you have to do is hit him. I did not. Oh. But, uh, what was resolved to? I always forget. Uh, you can choose what you roll. By, yep, permanently uh, by burning idea. a point of resolve. Uh, okay. You want to just hit him? It was an opposed yeah. roll, so you will only succeed by one success level. Okay. So that will be nine damage total. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a toughness of three, so he takes another six. He's on his last legs. Mm, tough kid. Mm-hmm. Meridrinda. Top of the round again. I am going to shoot our old friend Hans. Oh, uh, real, real, real quick. Mm -hmm. since, I, since I increased that, so I won. 
Yes. Uh, I can use my 8 instead of the plus 1 for the success levels. So I can do 16 damage. Well spotted. Very good. Yes. <laughs> you bury the pick in his skull. His eyes pop out of their sockets and sort of dangle loosely before you shake the the pick out of it. Nice. Well done. Nicely spotted. So. I am going to shoot our good friend Han. <laughs> Absolutely. He is going to make an attempt at dodging. Uh, so short range is plus 20, isn't mm -hmm. it? Okay, so I currently have a 50 modifier. Nice. <laughs> Nice. I, Bam. I, I get it, and it's dealing 15 damage to the left arm. <laughs> I really don't like arms. <laughs> oh. He does not nice. get out of the way. Really yeah, you hit him really hard in the left arm. Uh, let me have a quick look at his armor, or lack thereof. Doopy doopy doop. Pale too. Mm -hmm. Where did you hit him? Not the body. Arm. Left so arm. He has no armor on that. He's just got his toughness bonus of four. Uh, how much damage did you say you did? Eleven. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Uh, it would be fifteen. Yeah. How many wounds does he have? He has fourteen wounds. Bump. Fourteen, and he took eleven, wasn't it? Yes. So yeah. it's eleven. Uh. Very good. Yep. You pin his arm to the statue with the arrow, just as it shatters, and something dreadful comes out. Oh. <laughs> it could also not come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, that is a pick horror. Coalesced ball of pure magic with limbs and f screaming faces appearing and then dissolving back into it uh, erupts from the statue and completely eviscerates hands. Oh, shit. <laughs> and takes a stomp forward before screeching. Uh, that has fear two, I believe. So... The dwarf is inured to it because he got three levels of success on his bravery. Everyone else, however. Not me. Uh, what about. Cool test. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, let me just add Pink Horror into the uh, initiative tracker. Uh. Right, so cool test. I get my advantages to that, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Okay. So, my, my cool test. Six success levels. Nice. Yeah, this doesn't phase you at all. I, I live with walking trees. <laughs> <laughs> A pink blob with arms. Isn't that scary? Every. Yes. <laughs> it's the spider's turn, or is it a. Uh, uh, Merger into major cool test so she can attack. Okay. Oh, nice. Well, uh, didn't she just go uh, killing, uh, shooting hawks? Yeah, she killed. Sorry, I thought that was uh, Grody. I, I, I killed uh, Fangor. And then, Fangor yeah. Oh, right, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, she shot me. Yes. And then the Sorry, oh, you yeah. are quite right. It is Grat's turn. He hisses at you, little flecks of, you're pretty sure, human blood at this stage, spattering down, and makes another attack at Erica. He's really determined to try and hit Erica. <laughs> it's a matter of honor now. Okay, I'm gonna dodge again if possible. Mm hmm. Hey! Absolutely. Nice. Yep. <laughs> you dodge. You gain an advantage. Nice. He does not. Nice. And Erica. Um. I think that gives me two advantages, so I should mm -hmm. have. 
Okay. Um. So total two. I'm gonna. Uh, so if I'm now I'm engaged with that spider though, right? So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Um, hmm. I guess I can. Can I draw my sword and? Uh, uh yeah yeah. Can That's I? It's a free action. Be fine. Okay, so I'll draw my sword and attack. Then I guess my sword. Very good. Uh, He's... Yeah, uh, with two two level of advantage, so that's. Uh, um... He does have a dodge, but he's not very good Ooh. at it. Oh, so... nice! Success. <laughs> Egg. Nice fumbling failure and critical oh, yeah. success. <laughs> oh yeah, um, he walks straight into this one. Uh, yeah. Right arm. Let me get the critical hits out again. So many arm criticals. <laughs> yeah. These arms, these really severed weird. arms. <laughs> so... Oh, I thought I'd stop that. Excuse me one sec. Just reminding me about the next game. Put that back up. Uh, yeah, so that was right arm. Yeah, if you could roll a d100 there for me, please. Yeah, yeah. 38. 38. Uh, oh, you cut a vein, uh, cutting the arm badly. He lunges at you with his sword. You just grab it behind the wrist and just open it up from wrist to shoulder. He starts bleeding heavily. He's got the bleeding condition now. He loses a wound every round. Nice, and I did seven damage. Uh, the big red dot will do. And you did seven, and uh, bleeding hand takes another two off him. Straight away. He had 12, so is that seven before or after toughness? Uh, that's it's seven. After. Right. That's just the seven total. Yeah. Minus three Plus is whatever four. Whatever So six. Yeah, he takes six. Okay. So he is six wounds left. And he is going okay, to me. be... Brody. Yep. Very good. I'm going to charge at the demon. Oh, fantastic. Gotta make up for my, make up for <laughs> my path. Not even <laughs> Slayer yet, but <laughs> so, we'll, ma we'll make a Slayer of you. So, yeah, uh, another for that. Yep. Charging. The so, demon is going to try and parry you. Nice. 36. 36. Versus Five success levels. 50. Five success levels. Five versus five. So, uh, we, so we just want to count the... Uh, the success levels in just the yeah it's flag. the difference in success levels yeah so he manages to grab the pick and glower at you but you're having none of it you wrench it back off him as he rears back to strike at you which did, did, did I get it. more advantage for that because I uh you know what? I'm not sure on ties. Let me have a quick look. Resolving actions, combat. Do, 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 do. So the, the way I, the way I I've always done it was it was base weapon damage, and then it was your success levels minus your opponent's success levels. If you lose, uh, for damage. yeah, that's usually what I do as yeah. well. I'm gonna say a tie is a hit with zero success levels, yeah. Okay. So you do deal damage and you do get um, advantage from it. Right. So I'll get two more. Okay. So you did eight damage. Nice. His toughness is three, so he takes five wounds. Would I gain an advantage for passing my cool test early? Uh, no, no, it's uh, an opposed, it's on opposed rolls, and that was just a, an incidental mechanic of the fear. Just so um, you know, we can, I, I can see the demon's uh, health bar. I don't know if you want uh, to see that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Uh, yes, it's the demon's turn now anyway, so he's going to try yep. and rake the dwarf with his talons. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, he does hit. Uh, what location is 44? 44, I think is another arm, for God's sake. Right arm. Yep. Yeah. What is it with arms in this game? <laughs> well, I, um, I at least beat up all the success levels for that. Is <laughs> that the mean, arm you already had broken? Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, wait, 44? No, it's not a... It's not a... 44 is my right arm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Oh, I no, was says, I was mixing up the results right and the location. So uh, you roll a D100. So it'd be there. my other arm, my left arm. <laughs> yep. My, Result 42. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, you buried the pick into him last turn. He grabs it, yanks it out of his own wound, and then... Socket, drop whatever is held in the associated hand. The arm is useless for 1 Ooh. d10 round. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, 1d10 oh, no. rounds. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Oh, no. So, so how much... Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm too bro broken arm. Uh, how much damage uh, uh, did the... Did the crit yeah, that's a good... Um, uh, it's two damage for wrenched arm. So you take two for that, and the demon's own weapon. I really should have just done claws. As uh, ace. Do, 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 do. Yeah, take eight, nine. Uh, that'll be ten minus whatever your toughness. Is. I okay, think that's I'm four. At, I'm so. at, uh, zero. You're at Ooh. zero. <laughs> yep, so I'm pro. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you can spend um, resilience points to lose all of that and gain one wound as you surge back to your feet. Uh, or is that a you, resolve? That's fate. That's fate. Uh, no, no. Fate is for death. Resolve lets you... Uh, get rid of conditions like prone and uh, it explicitly says um, if you were getting rid of the prone condition gain a wound oh um all right, uh, I, I mean space to ignore all incoming damage oh yes you uh, can do that as well if you like so you know, you know what I'll spend, I'll spend my fate and uh ignore everything that just happened nice. fair enough <laughs> 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 Right. Uh, down and protected me. <laughs> mm. Right, we're back to the elf. The elf, being the elf, will snipe. Very uh, good. So my current modifier is plus 70. lots. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the elf oh, shit, it crit. doesn't crit. like the leg. Blam. Mm. <laughs> With 13 damage, plus the critical. Uh, let me get the crit tables uh, up 50. again. On the leg. Head and uh, body. Legs. 50. Badly cut toe. <laughs> badly cut toe. You How many toes does it have? Condition. Uh, I think demons are immune to bleeding. They don't have a circulatory system. Not immune to the extra three wounds, though, so... Bloody hell. 16 uh, damage. 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16 damage. So that's 13 damage to the demon. Since yep. I know its toughness bonus is free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does what any pink horror will do when it takes more wounds than it has left. It... It splits. Dies and splits yes. into two slightly smaller, but no less blue vicious colors. blue ones. <laughs> but the question is, do they turn into brimstones afterwards? They probably do not. Good. Uh, I think they still have... 
All right, they've both got 12 wounds each. Oof. Oh, I can probably do that in a round. And let me yeah. pop them into the initiative order. Boop. Three. Okay. Uhar gets 11. Very good. Uh, yeah, that was Meridrenda's go. So, okay. Grat, the spider wonder, is up next. Uh, he instantly takes a wound from bleeding. Nice. And then he tries to hit uh, Erica. Because okay, he is three. he's desperate for some kind of win here. Three advantage right now, so... Mm -hmm. I gotta defend melee this time, though, so... Defend with melee. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I got minus one. I got minus three, so I defended. Uh, well, he still <laughs> fails. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. Nice. You hold on so to I your get... advantage. Yeah. Uh, oh, I get one more. Which is get one handy more because you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. Um. Yeah. Wait, no, not because because you failed, you don't gain the advantage. It. But he just well, failed worse. Win an opposed melee. I still won the opposed melee, right? Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. That yeah, makes so sense. So yeah, gain the advantage. One more. Whatever. Ending it. Nice. Oh, that is my turn. <laughs> Absolutely. Then I can turn back on him with the uh, the dagger, I guess the dagger. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm plus 40 this time. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Even with plus 40, mm. I'm two levels of failure. Two levels, minus two. You got any fortune well, points left? No, I do. Yeah, I can reroll that one. That's, I got two, yeah. five, two fortune points left, so. Yeah, I think it's a good, good time to reroll. The, uh, the dark deal if that one fails too. Yeah. Just, uh, just That's an option. Um, three levels of success. That will do. Uh, so that's eight damage. Uh, my, yeah, another five damage for... Are they dodging or they can't dodge? Or... He's a little tied up at the moment. He takes okay. nice. all of his wounds and flops nice. to the ground. Uh, spider legs curled up in the air as he sort of skitters and dies horribly. <laughs> nice. And uh, bleeds out all over the floor. Well done. Uh, yes, you gain another point of advantage. Nice. The question is, did your test group last night do this well? Uh, no. They set fire to the inn and left. <laughs> Oh, so they, they took my plan. <laughs> uh, I will go and step over here. To this they horror. like even put barrels on all the trap doors, but that didn't stop the demon. <laughs> yeah. They spent a little too much time nursing their concussions from falling out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Grody, you just charged this blue horror. Uh, uh I, I can't charge because I only move one space. Ah. Uh, Fair yeah, enough. Uh, um, do, do I still have my five advantage since I spent my fate point to ignore that? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Then I'm going to attack that blue horror. I am looking forward to you flailing at it. Oh, poop. Oh, nice. Glam. Nice. Oh. <laughs> 15. <laughs> 15 damage. That's supposed to be running on battery, little laptop. There you go. To the arm. Go for more arms. Uh, he's going to try and parry that. And fail miserably. So, takes a whole lot of damage. 15. Uh, oh, yeah. 15. His toughness is 3. Takes 12. Yep. Yeah. That one shots the poor little blue horror. Nice. nice. <laughs> With a rather more high pitched squeal than the pink one, it dissolves into a, a rapidly evaporating puddle of pink and blue magic. Nice. And oh, you yeah. gain another how, advantage. How are the civilians doing? They are screaming in terror and <laughs> cowering as far away as they can. Alright, the remaining blue horror. 
Let's see. Sizing things up here. Ah, uh, go big or go home. Charges the dwarf. <laughs> there you go. So, plus one yeah, advantage. Uh, where is its gear? <laughs> plus ten. Nice. Eight. Shovels of success. Eight, six, <laughs> Eight versus none. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Eight. Yeah. You deftly parry it with your grandfather's pick. And it's the elf again. The elf with a lot of spell and with a plus 90 to hit. <laughs> Advantage is funny. Hit this is going to hurt. Right arm with. Again! Damage. Huh. How much damage, sorry? Uh, 15. Oh, yeah, that's more than enough to total it. Bloody nice. hell. <laughs> right, so. The um, elf still hates arms. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to end on the same note we started. Nice. Uh, with a screech and a wail and much eldritch, mm, glittery, poofy magic puffs of smoke, it is banished back into the hell from which it came. <sighs> the um, innkeeper and his wife and servants and the one surviving coachman from the coach party thank you profusely for saving their lives. They had no idea there was a shrine to the dark gods below their um, inn. It turns out there was a cult here about a hundred years ago, until they were driven off by righteous forces of the Empire. They must have snuck back in recently. Uh, Hans s killed a road warden, stole his uniform, posed as one of them, and while everyone was asleep, he opened the gates to let the mutants in. Uh, they killed the guards, um, dragged everyone down here to sacrifice to reconsecrate the evil altar. They are absolutely going to destroy it, and possibly the inn along with it to make sure nothing survives. But, uh, hooray, when the road wardens show up the following morning, you have witnesses to corroborate your story, so they don't arrest you, which is lovely. <laughs> Hmm. And you make it to Altorf without any further 